I never thought affirmations were important. I thought they were cheesy, used by idiots, or used as attempts to convince oneself of being more powerful than you actually are. Growing up, my mom would put affirmation cards on the bathroom mirror, so we'd see them like every day, and my response was always, F these things, I don't need affirmations. And it wasn't until I started a job at Collective Evolution, which is an alternative media outlet, which happened to be renting space in the Kingbridge Institute north of Toronto, and which happened to also be owned by a billionaire, that I realized I was wrong. See, the Kingbridge Institute was full of inspirational quotes and affirmations posted all over the walls. And being that it was a hub for entrepreneurs in business, I started to realize that affirmations were actually essential to A, growing yourself, B, growing your wealth, and C, being influential and making an impact with your life. So let's look at what the word affirmation really means. The act or an instance of affirming, a state of being affirmed, the assertion that something exists or is true, something that is affirmed, a statement or proposition that is declared to be true, confirmation or ratification of the truth or validity of a prior judgment, decision, etc. So basically, to affirm is to declare a truth. So therefore, if you have anything in your life that you think is true, you must be affirming that at some level. Okay, so I've actually carried my mom's affirmations in my car ever since she passed on in early 2015. And so let's look at some of them and well, let's see what we can learn and how I might adjust it to make it just a little bit stronger. Don't get me wrong, I love my mom. But since affirmations have become really important to me in my life, it's become clear to me that lots of people are affirming things that could be adjusted for greater health, greater wealth, and definitely well-being. I always choose the path of most light. Okay, if that means something to you and gets your gears turning, awesome. For me, it means a few things. One, I don't always choose the path of most light. I mean, I don't think I'm always choosing what the hell I'm doing half the time anyway. I'm also not convinced that choosing light over dark is always the best course of action, relative to whatever experience I'm having to choose for. Okay, okay, I could go off on a long rant about that, but here's what's also in this affirmation. I am choosing. How many times in the last year have you even remind yourself of that? I know I haven't, but just try that on for a second. I am choosing. Maybe that helps you feel a bit of certainty, maybe some confidence, or maybe some bravery. Maybe that helps you just pause for a moment of self-awareness, and maybe in that moment, you can make a new choice. It's those moments that affirmations are for, slowing down our perception of time for a moment, to have time and space for self-awareness so that we can help ourselves grow. But there's another hang up here, and these are so often missed by affirmation junkies, and that is I can be choosing and still not do anything. Like I can choose to watch a show on Netflix and then not watch it, just as much as I can choose to make a million dollars and then never do it. Choice and action are not automatically connected. Mom's not here anymore, at least physically, but I know she wanted to do more with her life, and maybe I'm helping her do that right now. So here's my version of her affirmation, that I'd give her and I'm gonna give it to you. I am choosing and walking the lightest path. I kinda like that. It affirms that I'm choosing. It also affirms that I'm willing to drop the baggage, take the path of least resistance, and that I'm not only choosing, I'm also doing the thing. And that's important because the faster we can choose and the faster we authentically act on our decisions literally corresponds to the amount of fulfillment you have in your life. So what's really synchronous here is that as soon as I finished writing the script for this video, my coworker Nadim actually pops into my office and shares part of a Muslim prayer. It translates to, may God always keep you on the path of growth and success. Weren't we just talking about that? I'm Steven, and if you love affirmations, growing in your life and making the most of what life has to offer you and vice versa, then it's been an honor serving you today. I hope you get something meaningful from this video and maybe, just maybe, make a small adjustment to how you affirm yourself so you can have greater meaning and magnificence out of your day. And if you wanna take that a bit further, send me a message or leave a comment. I might just invite you to be a part of my next masterclass where I'll deep dive you into your identity and your behavior and equip you with a tool to help you maximize your growth in what's already most meaningful and important to you. See you next time.